What's up, Forever Tribe? Finally making that banana bread I've been telling you guys about. This is gonna make one loaf. If you're new to this channel, I'm Shay. I typically vlog on this channel pretty much just everyday life, day in the life, as a wife, as a mom. And we're going back to doing some traditional things like homemaking, doing homemade foods, trying to stay away from like fast food and that type of thing, gardening, all that good stuff. Just like the old simple life. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, simple. Anyway, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 350 while we do everything. So, I'll we'll put that on 350 really quick, and then I need to grab my bowl. Okay, guys, so I got my KitchenAid. My mother-in-law gave me this um, years and years ago. So I got a new attachment. Matt got me a new attachment for Mother's Day. I think it was Mother's Day. Um, this is the old one, it's all broken. I need to get a new one of these, but we're gonna use this one. Matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and use this one because I need to be able to mix everything really well. So we're gonna start off by three overripe, bananas and I have my three overripe bananas right here. All three bananas are in there. Let me show you guys really quick. Then I'm gonna put my apron on because I don't have a, my shirt keep falling for some reason. I got this apron from um, William Sonoma, which I like William Sonoma. They have really nice stuff. It's just, it just can be a little expensive, but it has some nice stuff in there. Okay, so let me show you guys the um, let me show you guys the bananas. All right, so I'm gonna lock it and then and you just want to let it go until it's like all mashed up. All right, so that's what you want it looking like. You want it all nice and smashed. Okay, guys. So the next thing you want to do is get a grab a stick of butter. If it's not already like room temperature, like melted, you guys can melt it in the um, microwave or like on the pot. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna put it in the pot. I hate the microwave. I do not like microwave. My children wanted a microwave, but my, so my parents gave them a microwave. But I'm gonna put it in the pot um, and melt the butter. Okay, y'all, I have my melted butter. I could not find my pan that I usually use or my pot that I usually use to melt the butter. But it's fine. I have to do what I have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this, the butter and the banana together real good for a little bit. The next thing on the list is gonna be two large eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them one at a time. So add them one at a time, you guys. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> add them one at a time. These are from our chicken food, by the way. Next thing is going to be a teaspoon. Of okay, y'all, I'm running out of space. So the next thing you wanna add is a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I've already done because my camera went off. I'm gonna mix that a little bit. And then the next thing is gonna be two cups of all-purpose flour. So I got these, if you guys were wondering, I got these from William Sonoma. However, they were very, very expensive. So I will put a link down in the description. Uh, for an uh, Amazon one that's similar, it's a little cheaper. So this is what I was on my gold kick. I was trying to like get on the wave of gold, and I just, I just like, I like my my chrome and my brass or whatever. Not brass. What do you call it, y'all? Nickel, brush nickel. I like brush nickel. I don't know. I like it. And I like my black. So I don't know if I'll be going with the gold theme. And I might give these away to my cousin. I think she likes, or my mom. She likes gold. So I have to add four of these, y'all. So if y'all see me add four of these, it's because I don't know where my cup is. It's somewhere around here and I don't feel like looking for it because I don't have any space on my phone, so I have to hurry up. And I'm just adding um, and letting the blender go, or letting it, the mixer go because it can get clumpy. Some don't get all the way in. I just wanted to mix really, really well. All right, one more. And the next thing is going to be a cup of granulated sugar. So I have my sugar right here. All right. 
the sugar is in. I'm gonna let that mix for a little bit before I do the next step, which is a half a teaspoon of salt. So I have Himalayan salt, it's fine if you have Himalayan salt or if you have like regular salt, um, just as long as it's salt, okay? That's mixed up really well. I'm gonna show you guys in like two seconds. Just give me a minute. And then a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And it smells good. It smells so good, y'all. Already before I can put it in the oven, it smells so good. I'm gonna try to put the ingredients on the side as well. So if I say anything wrong, you guys will still have the ingredients on the side. This is what it's looking like in, at the moment. So you guys can see. I'm gonna let it go. Um, I'm gonna let it mix for a little bit, just making sure that everything is all nice and mixed well together. Okay, I think that's good enough. So you wanna oil your plant pan. I have like a little loaf pan that's actually meant for like bread and you know, stuff like that. I like to oil my pan up with a stick of butter first. So that way all that butteriness will get on the bread as well. So I got it nice and buttered up, but I'll also go in with some, a little spray just to give a little bit of extra coating. So that way it doesn't stick to the pan. It shouldn't be a like non-stick pan anyway. I believe my aunt got these for me for Christmas, but I can link these down below as well um, for my Amazon store. We're just gonna mix all this in. Y'all, it smells so good. Look at this. And it smells so freaking good. All right, so we're gonna stick this in the oven at 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. So I would put it on 45 minutes and then I will watch it, well, excuse me, I will put it on like 50 minutes just to have that average and then watch it. And if you need to add time, then you can add time. But if you need to take it out, then you can take it out, so. So guys, I actually messed the ingredients up. I meant to tell you guys to add one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. If you don't, this is what it's gonna come out like and when you do add a teaspoon of baking soda it would look like this if you put baking soda in it that we forgot so that's it hope you guys enjoy this video please make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff for more videos bye